welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something that I have been wanting to film for quite a while but haven't really had the confidence to do it because I haven't been confident enough in it to show you as such. I don't know, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Basically today's video, as you can tell from the title, is how to do a smoky eye for beginners. This is a smoky eye that I have done, I hope you like it, it's currently my obsession, rose gold and gold and bronzes, and I wanted to share with you a technique that I learned a few months, well, more than a few months ago actually, probably February, and it's kind of changed my makeup life. That's an exaggeration, but we'll go with it. For years and years and years, I looked at people doing smoky eyes, and I was like, I don't get it, it really scares me. Every time I tried to do it, it just went complete disaster, it was a mess. So I never did it, I was a one color eyeshadow kind of girl. And I did this course, and I am now so much more confident and happy to kind of go for it with an eyeshadow. So I wanted to share it with you because I feel like if there was a video like this or if this technique, if I'd seen this technique online, it would have helped me out a lot. So I wanna share it with you. So I hope it helps you. I'm still learning, it's still growing, but I'm at a stage now where I'm really comfortable with the looks that I go for and things. And obviously you can use any single eyeshadow you want, like any colour, it doesn't have to be this colour, you can do it with any colours. Long story short, I've wanted to share this with you for a long time, I really hope it helps you out. If it does, please let me know if you use it, send me a picture of it, you can either tweet me, link me on Instagram, link me a video if you do a video of it, I would love to see you use this technique. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy it. I will start with the general ideas of it, so it's, an, it's a smoke eye and you can either use three or four colours, I use four in this makeup. Actually, you technically use five, but one of the steps is complete optional. So four colours, and the colours that I have gone for, so I'm using the Revolution palette. So basically, let's start at the beginning, let's not get confused. So you want four colours, three colours, going up in darkness. So you, you want a lighter shade. The lighter shade I'm using is this one. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This one here. So it's the dust, like a dusty pink kind of colour. The next shade I use is one from Kiko in 03 and it is a shimmery gold, lovely. The next shade I use is the gold, so this colour, your like third shade slash fourth, yeah, third shade slash second shade is the colour that you kind of want to pop in your eyeshadow, so this is the colour you use most of, so it's the colour that you want your theme of your eyeshadow to be around. So mine is a bronzy, goldy colour and I'm currently obsessed with this colour so much. And then you want a darker colour and I've gone for this one here which is more of a brown um, just to make sure that there's that, that smoke in the eye if that makes any sense at all. It works for me. So yeah, you want three or four colours going up in graduation. This is a step I added in but I like to start off with a cream shadow first and this is just the Chanel um, in number 82 and it is literally like just a shimmery rosy gold. I just like to start off with one of these just because I think with this colour anyway um, it gives me a better payoff with my other shadows so I just will start with this. It's never very neat, it just kind of goes on. Then I take a angled brush, this is just an Arbonne, uh, the slant brush from Arbonne, and you want to take your second to dark, darkest colour, take that from under your eye up into a slight like flick in the direction of your, like your natural direction of your eye. I hope I explained this okay. <laughs> Just like that. Then you want to continue it up and over into an arch over your over your eyelid. So you have like the shape that you want your eyeshadow to be. Then I take a flat brush again, this is an Arbonne brush and it's called, it's the shading brush. You want to take the same colour and then just bring it into your eyelid to cover your eyelid. Like 
and then start to blend out that harsh line to soften it as you bring it into your eye. I then like to bring in a fluffy brush, this is one by Zoeva and it's the, the softer definer to help blend out that harsher line. like that so you've got your shape now but you haven't got that harsh line as such I'm just gonna go in a little bit more just to make the color a bit more obvious that's one thing I would say if you're just starting out with an eyeshadow like shading like this always start light and build so many times I make the mistake where I just put too much on straight away and you can't go back but you can go forward <laughs> Just, I just wanted to bring a bit more colour into it, lift it up above the um, eyelid a bit more. Just because sometimes I find when you have a smoky eye like this, once you put your mascara on, you kind of lose some of that colour. Sorry if I'm looking at that, I keep looking to make sure they match. <laughs> so I find you need to go up a bit more than you think you do to get the, the effect once you have your mascara on. Then you want to take your middle shade, so your second to lightest. So mine is my Kiko in 03. Go back in with your flat brush again. And just go on the inner side of your lid and just bring it slightly over. Just like that. Just so you can start to get the gradient from the lighter to the darker. That easy. That quick. <laughs> I then take a pointed brush. Again, this is another Zoeva and this is the Petite Crease brush. And you want to take your darkest colour. Like really lightly, obviously, you build it. And you want to just go in like a small triangle motion around the outer crease of your eye. Building it really slowly as you go, don't don't go too quickly. <laughs> like that. And then I go back in with my flat brush and you take your lighter shade. And I like to just put it at the bottom in the middle and just kind of blend it out slightly. Like that. If you like, you can also then go back with your fluffy brush and blend a bit more. Just to make sure all your colours are nicely blended together. And then put your mascara on. There you go. That's easy. Three slash four steps. The step you don't have to use, by the way, is the really light eyeshadow at the end. Um, I just like to do that. I don't really know why I like to do that. I'm going to be completely honest. I just prefer how it looks when I've got that like last pop of really light colour. I think it kind of brightens the eye a little bit, but you don't have to do that step if you don't want to. You can just do it with the three colours. As I said at the beginning, please make sure you send me a picture if you do use this technique. I would love to see it. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favourite eyeshadow colour is at the minute, like what you keep reaching for. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.